This was the Metropolitan Police Force yesterday. The right of the press to freely report and protest is no less important than the right to the protest itself. They should be able to do so without facing intimidation and aggression, officer. Yeah? Officers spoke with a journalist and her team following the incident. I'm a member of the press. I'm at work. Yeah? I'm not, is anyone here caused alarm and distress by my presence here? No. Ladies, everyone's Jewish no. here. There's no one who's caused alarm no, and distress. No. no one has come up to you and said anything about me. You are working under the orders of Sadiq Khan and Mark Rowley. Mark Rowley is an apologist for Hamas. They're apologists for jihad. So and the right. British public are fed up of your right. two-tier policing. Sheila Gunn-Reed for Rebel News, and I'm here in London, UK. Now, I flew all the way from my home in Western Canada to report on the latest trial of Tommy Robinson, the quote-unquote controversial citizen journalist and activist. Now, you can see more about why I'm here and support my trip halfway across the world at tommytrial.com. But here's the short version of what brings me to London today. Tommy was attending the big London march against anti-Semitism just a few short months ago. He was there for a couple of different reasons. He was there as a journalist, but he was there also as a supporter of the Jews. People who know Tommy know him as a bit of a philo-Semite. But instead of welcoming Tommy as a supporter, Gideon Falter, one of the left-wing march organizers, asked the police to remove Tommy. Not because Tommy did anything wrong, because he hadn't. It's just that Tommy's mere presence there made Falter tense. No freedom of the press. Do you believe in freedom of the press? Hands in as far as you do, but not including Houston Street. My direction is now leave immediately. Okay, can I reply to that quickly? This notice is now for 24 hours. So you must leave the locality. Can I reply to that, please? Always, you need to go right down King Street to the way of Hayborne train station. And the grounds of this is your presence is likely to My cause presence. harassment, alarm and distress to attendees at the march. Okay, sure. Can you please go, please? Okay. Get your hands off of it. Get your hands off Even crazier, though, the police obliged Falter. They grabbed Tommy, they handcuffed him, and then get this they pepper sprayed him in the face. Again, not because Tommy had done anything wrong, not because he was violent, but simply because he made some cry bully from the left anxious. Now police have banned Tommy from even setting foot in London to this very day. To meet with Tommy, I have to go outside of London. So Tommy is challenging that outrageous arrest. That's why I'm here, all the way from Western Canada, because we just cannot trust the local and mainstream media to tell the truth about anything related to Tommy Robinson. Now, during that last court hearing, something very, very dangerous, something outrageous happened. Now, normally in court, they make the defendant give their name and address in open court. But here's the thing. Tommy can't do that because Tommy frequently has death threats against himself and even his family. The police have to alert him to these death threats. So Tommy did something a little bit different, a little bit unorthodox. He wrote down his address to show the judge privately. But a reporter from the Evening Standard stood up in court and demanded that Tommy reveal his home address to the entire courtroom so that the Evening Standard could then publish Tommy's home address. And outrageously, dangerously, the judge agreed. So I'm here to meet with Tommy outside of London, because he can't come into London, to find out what has happened to him since the Evening Standard jeopardized the safety of Tommy and his family. And I'm also here to cover his two-day trial. I'm just here to do my job. That's my cameraman. I'm at work. Do you think a member of the press should be arrested for doing their job? No. no. I'm glad the journalists are saying so that. So, Stephen, this is, is your... Is there any Stephen, this is your dispersal notice. You can have a are you going to take this off your mouth? Yes. Officer, you're embarrassing Stephen. to you. You're embarrassing to me. This is embarrassing to me. This is embarrassing to me. I've got a local cameraman, and if you'd like to help offset the cost 
of sending me here all the way from Western Canada to make sure the public gets the full truth and to make sure that the sinister voyeurism of the likes of the Evening Standard doesn't go completely unchecked, please go to TommyTrial.com. That's it for me in London. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed.